Hi, my name is Tracy Klecko Jimenez, and I teach German and Spanish at Central Lakes College. Thanks for continuing to join us for our celebration of this International Education Week. My video is going to share some tips and then some photos of experiences. And the title would be to step out and experience the world to enrich your learning. So first the tips, when and how to travel. Make it a personal learning priority. If it's the first time, why don't you travel with an experienced family member or, or uh, community leader? Uh, and then travel with a partner or on your own to a planned destination with local contacts. And finally, travel with a partner or on your own with some framework, but also with an allowance for great flexibility. Look for your segue into the target cult culture that should include studying and using the language to some extent living with friends or a host family or in regular contact with someone local and being observant. You've probably heard the expression when in Rome. Do as the Romans try and fit in. So my final point, and perhaps the most important, is personal growth. Just try it. Try language expressions. Try the food. Try the transportation. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, because that's how we learn. Study, reflect, and keep a journal. And here are the photos of some of my travel experiences, which continue to enrich my understanding of human history and our effect on the environment. So I'm going to start with uh, an experience in college from walking by Orozco's murals, the epic of American civilization in Hanover, New Hampshire, on the way to my college work study job every day at the library, to being blown away by the incredible detailed and vibrant murals painted by Orozco in public places in Mexico. I turn around and there was another of his murals. From effortless, effortlessly floating in the shallows of the Mediterranean Sea due to the high salt content to swimming in an underground cavern or cenote on the Yucatan Peninsula while staying with families in the city of Merida. With regards to garbage and recycling, from seeing huge neighborhood recycling bins in my neighborhood in Seelendorf, Germany in the mid-1980s, where everyone had been recycling for years, to observing the 8 by 4 by 12 inch containers for garbage and compost under my host family's kitchen sink in Mexico, where everyone does their part to reduce waste. Transportation, from taking the subway through the GO stations in East Berlin, on my way to another destination in Berlin, to seeing the taxi gondola serve the folks who live in the hillside slums outside of Mexico City when needing to get down to the center, to seeing perfectly restored antique, antique American cars in Cuba that I had never seen in the United States. With regards to sleeping, from sleeping in a beautiful bed and breakfast houseboat in Holland, to sleeping under a feather tick in the upstairs in an old 40 degree farmhouse in the border between East and West Germany with a college friend's grandfather who was not too keen to Americans initially. With regards to wildlife from being followed by wild boars while taking a walk near the Teufelsee in the Grunewald district in Berlin, to the fear of having a howler monkey throw coconut shells at my students on the beach at Manuel Antonio Beach in Costa Rica, to the intimacy of spying a baby sloth sleeping within arm's reach on our hike through the park. With regards to economic systems, from visiting a record store and eating bland food in a restaurant in East Berlin in the mid 1980s, to seeing it all transformed into an eclectic happening neighborhood in 2011 after the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. And here's a website that you can check out yourself to see some of these transformations. With regards to, oh, my last point there is seeing a store for rations in Cuba to experiencing a bountiful buffet prepared for us at a local farm. 
and with regards to biking from renting bikes in Amsterdam and spending a week biking through Holland where nothing was planned and where we enjoyed amazing fields of tulips, jazz festivals, and even attending a Dutch couple's wedding by mistake when we were looking for a church. In Heidelberg, Germany, from playing the piano for Japanese tourists in a pub in Heidelberg, to drinking a, a mug, a glass mug of beer in the Hofra House in, in Munich, Germany. With regards to geology, from staying in a, in a scientist's lodge near an erupting volcano the first time I visited Costa Rica in 1994, <clears throat> to kayaking in the 60 meter deep lake Arenal in 2012, near the volcano, which was now nearly dormant. With regards to adventure, from doing some incredible white water rafting with six others in central Costa Rica, to experiencing the exhilaration of traversing several zip lines through the canopy level of the rainforest. With regards to history, from experiencing walking through the historic castles of Ferdinand and Isabella in Segovia, and visiting Neuschwanstein in Austria and Versailles in Paris, the historic Vatican and Colosseum in Rome, <clears throat> to the National Hotel in Cuba, where we were actually encouraged to visit and hang out, even though we weren't staying there as guests. While walking through every one of these buildings, I could really fill in the spaces in my mental framework of what I had learned in classrooms for historical events. I hope this was an enjoyable whirlwind tour for you as it was for me going through my memories. Please continue with us this week in celebrating International Education Week. And if you have further questions on how to get started with your future travels, please contact any one of us. I've enjoyed sharing with you. Take care.